There's a lot of sayings that are not actually biblical or Christian, but I think we've been saying them for so long that we've adopted them as biblical or as Christian, and they're not. And so one of the ones that God has put on my heart is that what's for me will never leave me. Like whatever God has spoke about me will never leave me. It will never pass me by. If you can show me the scripture that says that I will shut up, I will delete this TikTok. But when I read my Bible and I see the patterns of God, because I'm trying to learn the ways of God, I see so many times that God has promised people things in the Bible and because of their own hands, they faltered it. Because of the, the ways and, the, and their free will, they lost the will of God because they chose themselves over what God told them to do. An example of Moses. Moses was promised to be in the land of milk and honey. Because of his own choices, he lost that promise. Another example is Saul. Saul was the king at that time. Because of his own free will choices, he lost his position to David. Does that make sense? Another example is even Lot's wife. Lot's wife, when God said he was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he spared Lot's family. Lot's wife was a part of the family, but because of her own free will, she decided to turn around, even though the angels told her not to look back, and she was turned into a pillar of salt. She lost her kingdom. She lost her freedom. Samson and Delilah. We all know Samson and Delilah. Samson was not supposed to cut his hair, and he ended up telling Delilah, cut cut his hair and he lost. He lost the promises of God. So whoever told you that you cannot lose what God has spoken about you is a lie. Because if you do not pray, if you do not stay obedient to Christ, if you do not do the things that God has instructed you to do, you will lose the promises of God. It's not a threat. It's reality. It's how the Bible works. And if we only hold on to these feel good sayings, we will mistakenly lose our blessings we will pass by the things that god has for us you actually have to work to be in alignment with god's will because the enemy is pushing you out of that will every day he's trying his best to make sure that you're not aligned with god and you also have free will so you have to you have to intentionally make choices to follow god you can't just wake up one day and say, well, I'm not going to stress too much. I'm not going to pray too much. I'm not even going to, you know, do what the Bible says because whatever God has for me, he has for me. Show me the scripture and, I, and I'll delete this TikTok. Show me where it says that in the Bible and I will delete this whole TikTok. I will be quiet. But when I read scripture, I keep seeing that, no, you will lose what God has for you if you do not stay in obedience to what God has told you to do. So I'm just encouraging people to Make sure that you are aligned with God. With God's will. Make sure that you intentionally choose him every single day and do not let your blessings pass you by.